Hi there, and welcome back to Dr. Adam ASMR. It's been some time since we've had an exam together, and I want to thank you for your patience. Things have certainly been crazy at work and in the world, and I'm glad we're able to find time to have another appointment together. We're also working on some pretty incredible renovations here and opening a new office space to allow for even more exams or even detailed overviews of things like an abdominal exam or a full neurologic exam. So we are very excited about the future of Dr. Adam ASMR and I want to thank you for your support through this time. Now, as I normally do, I'd like to hear a little bit about what's been going on so that I can take some notes before we jump right into our exam. Excellent. haven't had it yet. Well, we can certainly talk about the benefits of receiving that shot and what it's like and some of the concerns you may have. That's not a problem. In fact, let me put you in for another appointment next week so that we can discuss that and potentially even get you your shot. Ah, uh, you know it is a jab? One and the same. Yes. We can talk about that, not a problem. Well, it's great you've been feeling well otherwise. We'll be thorough today and just do a brief head-to-toe physical. I'll take a look in your eyes, your ears. I'll also take a listen to your heart and lungs. Does that sound okay with you? Excellent. So I'm glad that things have been going okay with you. Uh, it's been quite busy, as you can imagine, in the hospitals. and. Glad we're finding time in the outpatient setting here. Okay. Very good. Now, we'll get started. I'm just going to do some palpation of the head. Make sure there's no masses or abnormalities that I'm noticing. Let me just feel a little pressure here. Seems symmetric, there's no, I'm just gonna take a peek at the back here. No atypical hair patterns or hair distributions. I don't see any evidence of dander or any trouble with the scalp. Things have been going okay there for you? Good, good. And it's flu season and it's a tough time of year. I'm going to go ahead and uh, palpate your sinuses now if that's okay. Let's see if you have any tenderness there. Okay, very good. Those are the frontal sinuses. Let's check those maxillary sinuses now. Good. No tenderness there? Excellent. And you don't sound congested, so that is reassuring as well. Good. I'm also going to check just for any mastoid tenderness while we're on our palpation phase here. That's the area behind the ear. It can signal a serious infection. I don't anticipate that will be the case today, but as you know, I like to be thorough. Any discomfort back there? No? Feels good. Okay. Good. Good. I'm glad that feels normal for you. Excellent. Well, I'd like to move on and take a look inside of your ears, your nose, your mouth. Would that be okay? Excellent. We'll start with our otoscope in the ear. Oto, similar to otolaryngology, the specialty that evaluates the ear, nose, and throat. So oto for ear, let's take a look in that ear first over here. You'll feel a little bit of pressure as I pull back on the ear. Any discomfort while I'm pulling back on the ear? No? Okay. And just taking a look in, good. Good. Yeah. And I'm readjust here. Okay, a little discomfort. And excellent normal tympanic membrane. No signs of injection or erythema. Good. The canal looks healthy as well. There's no excess cerumen. Good. Good. 
just gonna reach up here. Okay, and a little bit of pressure. No tenderness there. Good. Okay, and actually that TM looks good as well. It's clear. No evidence of serum impaction or injection. No fluid behind the TM. And the canal looks well. Good. Good, we'll change the tip here. I'm gonna go ahead and look up your nose now. You just relax. Good. Good, that nair appears clear. There's no excess rhinorrhea or evidence of congestion, swelling of the turbinates. Looks healthy, no signs of bleed either. Let's take a look on the other side here. Okay. Hmm, that looks fairly normal. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to use the nasal speculum on that side. It'll just give me a better look. The turbinate looks like it may be a little bit irritated, but it's hard to tell. This nasal speculum is very gentle. It just opens gently like this and allows me to see inside of the nair a little bit easier. Would it be okay with you if I use that? Excellent. We'll turn our light back on. And you're just gonna feel some pressure here. Good. Ah, okay. Nope, that turbinate looks okay. No significant swelling and no events of bleed in there. Good. Lastly, I'd like to have you open your mouth up for me. Good. And go ahead and say, ah. Uh -huh. Good dentition on the inferior arcade of teeth. Excellent. Let's check the superior arcade. Good. No evidence of dental caries or abscess. They don't see any signs of a sialolith or any irritation around the tongue. And go ahead and just stick your tongue straight out and say, ah. Good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Well, that all is reassuring. And it looks like your oral health, your ears, your nose, your sinuses, uh, they all seem to be doing well. And there doesn't seem to be any concern there right now. Now one of the last things I'd like to check while we're up in the head area is the eyes. Would that be okay with you? Okay, excellent. I'm going to use a pen light to start, just to evaluate the pupils, okay? Now, I'm sure you remember the pen light and our swinging flashlight test, so I'll have you just look straight ahead at me. Excellent. And we'll check this eye first. Good. Good. Normal pupillary response there. Good. And of course, checking both the direct and the consensual pupil response. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and retract the lower lids and check the conjunctiva. Good. Good. And here as well. Good. Very good. Yeah, excellent. Um, no signs of anemia. Uh, there's good color there. There's no evidence of injection. Could be an allergic conjunctivitis if there was, but we don't see anything like that. So I'd like to take a look at the back of the eye now, if that's okay. Excellent. Okay. Here we are. We'll just dial this in to a neutral setting. And What I'll have you do is look over my right shoulder here. I'm gonna put my hand on your shoulder so we can gauge the distance here and we'll be offset a little bit, so uh, we're not gonna to be too close. Is that okay with you? Excellent, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be looking into your eye now and just keep looking over my shoulder. Excellent, great, mm-hmm. Look straight into the light. Good, back over my shoulder, just gonna look 
back of the eye. Good. Okay. And relax. And we'll check the other side now. Have you look over my left shoulder. And we'll go into the left eye here. Okay. Very good. We're just going to follow that in here. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good. And look, keep looking over my shoulder. Yep, good. I'm going to look around first this time. Just taking a look. Good, and there was a normal cup to disc ratio on the other side, and actually, it looks normal here as well. Look right into that light for me. Good, and back over my shoulder. Excellent, and I'm just gonna look one more time around here. Mm -hmm. Excellent, it all looks healthy and normal. Good, good, okay. Well, one of the last components of your ocular exam is uh, checking the extraocular motions. Now this is also part of the neuro exam, so we'll get two for one here. Is that okay? We'll start that part now. Very good. I'm going to have you look straight at my finger here. And I want you to keep your head in place. Just follow my finger with your eyes only, but not your head. Very good. Okay, here we go. Good. Mm-hmm. dizziness there? No. Okay. Good. You're doing great. Excellent. Gently, we'll go in and out. Excellent. And once more in here. Very good. Excellent. Uh, everything seems normal with your extraocular motions and accommodation as well. And your pupils are equal and reactive. They're round. They respond to light appropriately. Now. As we move down towards the chest, I'd like to check for any lymph nodes in the submandibular space or in the anterior or posterior axillary, excuse me, cervical chains. Uh, if that's okay with you, it'll just be some gentle palpation. Excellent. Okay. Feel some pressure here. Good. Good. And down the neck here. Excellent. check the thyroid as well, okay? I'm going to have you turn your head to the side, look up a bit. Excellent. Go ahead and swallow for me. Good, good. Relax. And I'll have you do that one more time. Turn your head to the side, look up. Good, swallow. Good, I don't feel any nodules. I'm going to have you do it to the opposite side now so that we can make sure we're not missing anything here. Go ahead and swallow for me. Excellent. Okay. Uh, that feels normal as well. Very good. Now, it's time to move on towards the chest, which means we can listen to both the heart and the lungs. Now, you said you have not been having any cough or respiratory symptoms, correct? Good. And no chest pain or numbness or tingling in your upper or lower extremities? No. Good. Okay. Well, we're going to start by taking a listen to your lungs. You know how this part goes. You just sit back and relax. Oh yes, that's not a problem. I'm happy to let you take a listen to the lungs and the heart when the time comes. Very good. Well, you just relax. I'm excited about this new stethoscope I have. It's got both noise canceling and sound amplification, so we get a really great listen to both your lungs and your heart.
and take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Very good. And in through your nose and out through your mouth. Great. And we're going to listen on the back of your lungs now. So you just relax here. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Very good. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Great. I'll go to the other side here. In through the nose and out through your mouth. Excellent. And once more in through your nose and out through your mouth. Your lungs sound totally clear without any wheezing, bronchi, rails doesn't sound like an ammonia to me and I'm cleaning this off here for you so that you can take a listen. Now, let me put this on. Good. Okay. side now. Good. How was that? I always find it relaxing and I know you enjoy that as well. So I'm glad that we could do that. Now, before I listen to your heart, I'd like to check your pulses in your upper extremities to make sure that they're equal on both sides. I'll have your wrists here on both sides. Good. And just relax. Good. And I always think it's nice. You can kind of feel your pulse when someone else pushes on it. It can be quite relaxing to just feel your pulse and kind of melt into that rhythm. And they both feel equal and strong to me, not one stronger than the other. Good. I'm going to take a listen to your heart now. You just relax for this portion. You can breathe normally. Just try not to breathe very deeply because it will make it more difficult for me to hear the heart sounds. So just do as you're doing now. That's perfect. Excellent. You know, as we expect, everything sounds entirely normal. And I'm going to let you take a listen as well. So we've got the clean stethoscope here. You ready? Good. Okay. Again, I think it's very relaxing, similar to feeling the pulse, uh, getting to listen to the heartbeat, especially with the clarity from this device. It's been a really nice change to have. Now, there's just a few things left that I would like to do. 
I'm going to go ahead and check your vision. Okay, and now we're going to utilize the vision card here. I just want you to read with your right eye, covering the left, the lowest line you can. Very good. I'll have you cover that eye. Read with the other eye now, the lowest line that you can. Very good. Excellent. Now with both eyes open, read the lowest line that you can backwards, please. Excellent. Very good. That's consistent here, I believe. It's consistent with your old result as well. I'm glad to see that. Now one of the only things that we've missed is testing the light touch sensation across your face. I've been able to evaluate all of the other cranial nerves through our exam today. And since we're focused on a brief exam, we'll just test quickly for both sensation of light on the left and right side of the face. We'll use our cotton wisp as we normally do. Excellent. That should work. And I'll have you just close your eyes and let me know which side you feel this. Ready? Good. Go ahead and close your eyes. Perfect. Good. That's correct. Correct. Good. here. Yes, yes, those are both correct. You can go ahead and open your eyes now. Very good. Well, I do want to thank you for coming in today. Everything is very reassuring, and it's, again, very good to see you again in the office here. I'm planning on seeing you more regularly now, so if you'd like, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our appointments. And if you're happy to see that we're back together, please be sure to give that video a thumbs up. And of course, we'll see you in the next one. Hi, and welcome back to Dr. Adam ASMR. My name is Dr. Adam, and today we're going to jump right into your visit. I understand that you had a fall. I'm really sorry to hear about that. Tell me a little bit about this fall before we jump into the physical exam. Mm -hmm. Are your hands hurting you at all? Okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm sorry that that happened. But I am glad to hear that you didn't hit your head and you're not having any neck pain. The good news is that since you didn't pass out, you didn't hit your head, you're not having any neck pain, I don't think we need to put on a neck collar at this time or even worry about getting neck imaging but I would like to take a good look at your hands where you fell on the ground, see if there's anything that needs to be repaired, or if there's any damage that we can detect. Now, as always, I'm gonna start from the head down, make sure that we're not missing anything. The first thing that I'd like to do is palpate your head to make sure that we're not missing any trauma to your scalp, any abrasions, lacerations that you may not have known that you got. I'm going to start by examining your head. Is that okay? All right, very good. I'm going to go ahead and stand up here. Okay, and just relax. I'm just palpating around your head here. Good. So normal hair distribution. Good. And I don't feel any swelling here. A little ecchymosis behind the ears. That's a good thing. It'd be concerning for a basal or skull fracture or damage to the skull. They don't feel any depression, so everything here is checking out. Okay, very good. Hopefully that wasn't uncomfortable for you. Good. Good. I'm glad. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do is check your cranial nerves. Okay. This is going to be easy. I'm just going to have you follow my finger to start. We'll do some sensation testing on your face, and then we'll go from there. Does that sound like a plan? Very good. Okay, 
first I'll have you follow my finger. Great. Mm-hmm. Very good. Good. Excellent. Very good. All of your extraocular motions, or the muscles that move your eye, the small muscles around your eye, they're all working normally and appropriately. It's good because anytime someone falls, if they injure their face, they could have something called an orbital blowout fracture. It's very serious and can require our colleagues in ophthalmology to come take a look, but I don't think that's going on today. If it's okay with you, we're going to test the sensation on your face, but first I'd like to palpate your face to make sure there's no trauma. Is that okay? Great. Okay, just relax for me. You feel me pressing here. Any tenderness? Okay, anything down here? Good. And down here? Good. Can you bite down for me? Great. Bite down once more. Excellent. Okay, very good. I'm now going to test for just gross sensations. So I'd like you to close your eyes and you'll tell me where you feel which side and whether it's the upper, middle, or lower portion of your face. Okay? Great. Close your eyes for me. Good. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. Good. Keep those eyes closed for me. We're going to take a nice deep breath together to relax. Deep breath in. And out. Anytime you feel like you need one of those, just let me know. It's helpful for relaxing. Okay. I'm going to test both sides now, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Close your eyes again for me, please. Okay. Feels the same? Good. Feels the same here? Good. And it feels the same here. Excellent. That's all reassuring. Very good. Okay. Now. I'm going to proceed on, and I'd like to just check to make sure that you can hear me the same on both sides. This will just be a rudimentary test. I'm just going to snap on both sides. I'd like you to close your eyes again. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Perfect. Let me know which side you hear the snapping on. That's right, that was both, very good. Okay, I think it's safe to say that your cranial nerves are grossly intact from our exam. I'd like to get a look inside of your ears, inside your nose, and your mouth. Now, anytime someone falls, we have a bit of a different exam that we're looking for, or things we're checking to make sure that we don't see. So I'll narrate that as we go along. I'm going to grab the otoscope and ophthalmoscope now. We'll start with the otoscope, as that will allow me to see inside your ears. So, I have that here. You can see we have our light source here. I'll go ahead and take a look inside your ears. Specifically, I'm looking to see if there's any blood in your ears. I'd like to see if the tympanic membrane is intact. I want to make sure I don't see any clear fluid, which could be a sign of CSF, or fluid from the brain, leaking due to a fracture. So I'm going to take a look in each side here. Just relax for me, let me know if anything is uncomfortable. You'll just feel me tugging on your ear a bit here. Okay? Great. Okay. Relax. A little pressure. <coughs> Good. Your TM is intact. I don't see any hemotympanum or CSF, 
no bruising or damage to the canal. And this isn't too uncomfortable. Good, okay. All right, relax, we'll go to the other side here. So, external, no trauma, no evidence of bruising, TM is intact, and clear, no hemotympanum, no CSF, looks good, okay. All right, very good. Everything looks normal, it's very good. It's two healthy ear exams. I'm going to look up your nose now. Now generally, if you've been to my office before here at Dr. Adam ASMR, you know that sometimes we have to use a nasal speculum to get a better view. We're going to try without it today, but if we need it, we'll grab it. And before we go on, I am going to want to see you for follow-up next week, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. There's over 60% of you who come to your appointments, but forget about your appointment next week. So hit that subscribe button. All right, let's take a look up your nose now. Just relax, look straight ahead. I'm gonna put this in, a little pressure. Good. On this side, a little pressure. Good, I am gonna have to use that nasal speculum. I wanna make sure that's not blood. I don't think it is. I think it's just a little bit of a swollen turbinate, but I want to make sure I'm not missing any dry blood. So uh, if you're not familiar, I'll tell you, this just opens gently and allows me to place the light in and see more clearly. Okay. Not painful, just pressure. Good. Good. Check the other side while we're here. Good. Good. Okay. No blood. No deviated septum. No other signs of trauma. Well, I have this light source. I'm just going to have you open your mouth up for me and say, ah. Good. One more time. Say, ah. Good. And when you bite down, does it feel like your teeth all line up? Excellent. Okay, so I don't notice any dental trauma. I don't notice any bleeding. Everything seems to be lined up. There's no malocclusion. Okay, I think that it's safe. We can move on from here, but I'd like to take a quick look in your eyes and make sure I'm not missing anything there. Okay, great. Let me switch the heads on our otoscope handle here. This other head is known as an ophthalmoscope. It's a bit more compact and it allows us to see into the back of the eye with some magnification. There we go. I've got it all focused and ready for our exam. First I'm going to look at the conjunctiva, so just Relax for me, that'll be the underneath part um, along the, the eye and some of the white of the eye. So just relax. Good. Good. And on the top. Good. We'll come to the other side. Good. And I'm just looking for any signs of trauma. I don't think we need to stain your eyes with fluorescein today. We can use a stain called fluorescein that looks for any corneal abrasions or injuries to the cornea or the surface of the eye. They're very painful, so I don't think since, you know, you're not having any discomfort, I don't think that's what's going on today. We can probably avoid that. would like to take a look in the back of both eyes, though. Is that okay? Okay. If you've never done this before, what you'll do is look over my right shoulder. I'm going to use my right eye to look into your right eye. That way our faces are offset and it's as comfortable as it can be for both of us. This exam's a little bit uncomfortable because of the distance between the two of us. So, if you'd like, you can take a deep breath in through the nose and out through your mouth to help you relax. I'll only be close for about five to 10 seconds to get a good look at the back of your eye. Okay? Very good. Okay. So, we'll have you look over my shoulder here. I'm gonna put my hand on your shoulder and you're doing a great job. Keep looking over my shoulder. Good. Okay. See the back of the eye. Good vasculature. Optic cup to disc. Everything looks good. Okay. Very good. 
you can relax. Let's do another deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Great. Let me look over my left shoulder here. And we'll be looking great. There's the view, okay. Keep looking over my shoulder. Great, okay, very good. I'm gonna use this light to check your pupils. I know they're reactive from my exam, but I'd like to get the exact number, so just look straight ahead. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And just looking straight ahead. Good. You might recognize this as a swinging flashlight test, you'll see. You don't actually have to use a flashlight, you can use any light source, and this ophthalmoscope is great for this. Good. Okay. Everything appears normal there. I'm happy to report that. Let me put this away. In the meantime, while I'm doing this, why don't you take two nice deep breaths for me? I know it can be stressful coming in for a visit after having a fall like that. Good. Give me another deep breath there. Good. All right. To finish up with the eyes, I'd like to check your visual acuity. I'm going to hold this card up and have you cover your right eye and read me the lowest line that you can. Mm-hmm. Perfect, you can uncover that eye. Great job. Go ahead now and cover your other eye. Read the lowest line you can backwards. Mm -hmm. Great. With both eyes open, read the lowest line you can for me. Excellent. Do you normally wear glasses or contacts at all? Mm hmm Good. Okay. I think your vision is at baseline from what I saw on the chart. So we don't have anything to worry about there. Now, I know that it's your hands that were bothering you after reaching out from that fall, so I'm going to do palpation on your arms to see if there's any concern for broken bones down to your hands as well. We'll also check some reflexes along the way. Is that okay? Great. We'll start over here. Any pain as I'm palpating? Nothing? Good. I'm going to squeeze on your hand. Good. Okay, we'll do the other side now. Any pain here? No. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze on your hand. No pain in there. We're going to do some tests of the hand motion now. First, I'd like you to go like this. Good. You can do it on both sides at the same time. Next, like this. Good. I want you to close your fingers up and open them. Close them tight and open them. And take your hand like this. Like, almost like a sock puppet. Very good. Good. I would say that you're able to move both hands through all of the range of motion very well. The last thing I'd like you to do is take your wrist and extend it back like this. Very good. And then bring it all the way down. We'll do that on both sides here. Mm -hmm. Very good. It appears you have normal strength or range of motion in all of those joints, so that's reassuring. I'd like to check your reflexes now in your arms. We'll use the reflex hammer here. Just a small hit against your arm. It's not going to be uncomfortable. You can see it does not cause any discomfort. But let me know if it's too hard and we can make some modifications. Okay, I'll borrow your arm. Good. And we'll check down a little further on the arm. Good. I'll check over here. Good. And 
further on the arm. Beautiful. Everything is normal. Your reflexes are normal. Now, what I'd like to do next is take a listen to your heart and lungs. I've actually got a new amplified stethoscope to give me even better audio quality when we're listening. So, I'll go ahead and get started on this. You just relax, we'll take a listen to your heart first. With the amplification, I was able to hear that there's no murmurs. Would you like to take a listen? It's really quite amazing what this can do. Let me put this in your ears. Great. Great job with that. I'm going to take a listen to your lungs next, okay? I like to be thorough since you did fall. Make sure we're not missing a pneumothorax. So I'll listen to the upper and lower lung fields on the front and the back. And then I'll also listen to two positions on the side, okay? Great. For this, I'll have you breathe through your nose and out your mouth. Go ahead and breathe through your nose and out your mouth. Through your nose and out your mouth. In through your nose and out your mouth. In through your nose and out your mouth. Very good. Let you take a second there. We'll listen on the sides. Go ahead and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Great job. Gonna listen on the back now. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. The other side. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Good. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Excellent. So I can hear normal heart sounds and nice, clear, normal lung sounds through my exam. No crackles, no wheezing, good, well-inflated, well-aerated lungs is what I'm hearing. That's all reassuring, and it goes along with the vitals that we got when you first came in. I think you've been doing a great job caring for yourself at home, and I think you can continue to do that. I don't see any need to bring you into the hospital right now, but I do think follow-up is very important. So I would like to see you here next week, same time for our appointment. We'll discuss any new concerns and, of course, follow up on what's been going on. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our appointment. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And, as always, thank you for coming to your appointment. We'll see you next week. Okay, go ahead and open for me. Okay. And lift your tongue up, please. Your tongue down and say ah. Okay. Good. Down your neck and onto your clavicles. Good. Back up underneath.
underneath here. Go ahead and swallow for me. Good. I'm gonna check that thyroid. Turn your head to the right. A little bit of pressure here. Swallow for me. Good. And turn your head to the left. A little bit of pressure. Swallow. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. We'll check the other side just real quick. Hold your breath for me. Deep breath in. Hold. Good. And you'll feel me tugging back on the helix of your ear here, on the cartilage. Good. And any discomfort as I do that? No. Okay. I'm just going to tap on the mastoid process here. No pain there? Okay, very good. A little bit of pressure here. I'm going to insert the otoscope. Great. I can see a clear tympanic membrane. There's no fluid levels. I don't see any scarring or discharge. And certainly no erythema of the canal. And it's not tender as I do this, which is good. Okay, very good. Relax. We'll come to the other side here. I'm going to do the same. Just inspect around the ear. Tugging on the cartilage. Do you have any tenderness? No? Okay. I'll palpate that mastoid process. That's good. Okay. Good. I'm going to pull down on your ear. Insert the otoscope here. Good. And just... Moving this around, there's our tympanic membrane. Good. And we can see it's a nice pearly color, cone of light reflex. And again, no fluid levels discharged or erythema on the canal. And that's not painful. I'll have you go ahead and take a deep breath in and hold. Two, three, four, five. Go ahead and breathe out. I'd like to take one more look there if that's okay. When you're ready, deep breath in and hold. Two, three, four, five. Okay, deep breath in. Two, three, four, five. Okay, relax. Okay, good. Tonsils appear normal size. Give me a big ah. Uh, Ah, uh, very good. Palate elevates evenly. No cobblestoning or masses. Okay, relax your tongue. Good. And another big ah. Uh. Try and stick your tongue all the way out. Good. I don't see anything at the base of the tongue. No lesions or deviations. Can you bite down for me? Nice and hard. Bite down. Good. Once more. Very good. Okay. Good. Let's do one more deep breath in. And out. Okay. I'm going to move to the back now. On your right side here, take a deep breath in. And out. And a deep breath in. And out. A deep breath in here, and out, and a deep breath in, and out. Okay. We're going to do those lateral or side lungs now. I'll have you raise your right arm. Perfect. Deep breath in, and out. Good. You can relax. You raise your left arm. Deep breath in, and out. Good. That all sounds entirely normal. You feel a little pressure here. Get any pain? No. Good. Okay. We'll press in here. Good. Okay. We'll press in here. left 
lower. One more thing, I'll have you just, I'm gonna hold in the right upper quadrant here under your ribs. Take a deep breath in for me. No pain? Excellent. Okay. I'm gonna start with the leads on your chest here. Just, you'll hear them kind of snapping on here. Deep breath in, and out. Deep breath in, and out. And deep breath in again, and out. I know this might seem a little bit funny, but what I'd like you to do is say the words 99. You'll just say this a few times. Repeat it if you would. 99, 99, 99, just like that. It will allow me to listen to different areas of your lung and get an idea of what might be going on. We're probably still going to need to do some imaging, but I'd like to start with this first. Is that okay? Okay, good. And go ahead and say 99. 99, 99, 99, okay. This is the ultrasound probe here. You can see it has a footprint here that allows sound waves to interact with your body. It's entirely painless, uh, and it gives me insight into what might be going on in your lungs. You can also take a quick glance at your heart with this, but we're mainly focusing on the lungs today. Is that okay? Great. Okay. I use some gel here to conduct sound. Okay, perfect. Just stay nice and still. Good. Good, let me label this image. Could you take a deep breath in? Good, and out. Great. I'm gonna capture a clip of that one more time. Go ahead, deep breath in, and out. Very good. Okay, I'll do that on this side here. Deep breath in. your heart as well. Just stay nice and relaxed for me here. Good. Okay. Uh, there we go. That should work. On the other side. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
don't want you to be alarmed, but uh, I don't hear any bowel sounds quite yet. It can take up to two minutes in a normal patient to have any type of bowel sounds heard on exam or auscultation. So all I'd like you to do is relax, take slow, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth, okay? What I'll do is continue to listen over your bowel and your abdomen to see if I hear any bowel sounds, okay? Let's start here. Okay. I'm going to compare those. Okay. Right upper and lower quadrants do sound normal. Let me come to the other side. Okay. Let's start in the left upper here. Okay. Left lower. Any discomfort during this? Okay. Once more. discomfort during that. Excellent. Okay, we'll now move on to palpation, okay? Palpation will go light to deep. So, if it's okay with you, I'd like to start out. And you said you're most tender in that right upper quadrant area, so what I'd like to do is start away from that in the left lower quadrant. Okay, excellent. I'll start nice and gentle here. And just a little pressure now. Okay. Is that uncomfortable at all? Good. Excellent. Okay. And I'll come to the left upper area now. Any tenderness in this quadrant as I press down? Okay. Good. Now we'll come to the right lower quadrant and press down. Okay. Any tenderness there? Okay. Now let's do the right upper quadrant. Uh -huh. It is a little tender. Okay, I'm sorry. We won't do that again. I'd like to press in the center now. We call this the epigastric area. This is the upper center. Patients will sometimes have tenderness here if they have reflux or GERD, which is just an overproduction of acid in the stomach, often worsened by a weak lower esophageal muscle, allowing that acid to come back up into our esophagus. And let me check in the periumbilical area now. Okay. And no tenderness there? Excellent. So, what I would like to do now is assess for any pulsating masses. I don't think that's what's going on today, but I'd like to make sure that your aorta does not feel abnormal. This will require a little bit of deep pressure right in the center near your belly button, just off to the left side. Would that be okay? Excellent. Take a deep breath in for me. Good. Slowly let that out. Feel that pressure there. Good. Okay. Another deep breath in for me. Slowly let that out. Good. Good. Any discomfort at all? I'm glad to hear that. This shouldn't be painful. Okay. 
I can feel your aorta, and it does feel normal to me, which is good. Very good. Okay. What I'd like to do next are some of the special tests. Now, these are a little bit different. The first one has a funny name. It's called McBurney's Point. McBurney's Point can evaluate for appendicitis, which normally we would see in the right lower quadrant. Now, I know you didn't have tenderness, but I'd like to be thorough. Is that okay? Excellent. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press in here. A bit firm. Now I'm going to let go quickly. I'll do it one more time. Press in firm and let go quickly. Did you have any discomfort? No. Okay, we would be concerned if you had more discomfort when I let go than when I pressed down. I'm going to check a Murphy's sign now. This will be checking your gallbladder, okay? I'm going to palpate the edge of your ribs here. Good. Okay, that's the ribs. And I'll just hook my fingers gently here and have you take a deep breath in. Good. One more deep breath. Excellent. Here's the probe, and we'll apply some gel. Okay. Now I'll just have you relax. I'm going to start scanning here. Okay. I'm just taking a look at the monitor here. Good. We call this a subcostal sweep. I'm just looking for your gallbladder right now. And you haven't eaten recently, correct? Good. Okay. Here is your gallbladder. Good. Do me a favor. I'd like you to take a deep breath in and hold it, please. On the count of three. One, two, three. Excellent. We've captured that image. I'd like to scan for all of the vessels here as well. We'll turn the axis, and I'll have you take a deep breath and hold it again. Good. On three, we'll go one, two, three. saved as well. Okay. And I'm just making notes on the computer here as we go. Okay. I don't see any sludge or stones in here. I'm going to capture this here. Just relax. No need to breathe deeply. There's no fluid around your gallbladder, no stones or sludge. Everything looks normal here, which is good. That's what we want. Good. Now, if it's all right with you while we're here, I'd like to take a look at your aorta as well. I know that we don't think it's a problem, but it's a very quick measurement, and we can just evaluate it to determine if there's any abnormality. Okay, great. I'll turn the screen back towards me on this one. Here it is. A little pressure. Don't be alarmed, it's just the sound of the probe dragging here. foreign bodies that we're missing, okay? Good. And on the top. Good. Mm -hmm. 
once more on the bottom here, my apologies. Good, one more, a little bit of pressure. Good, okay. Now, I would like you to come back next week. We'll follow up on this. Make sure you don't need a chest x-ray or a referral to an ophthalmologist. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Hit that like button and share it with someone who also might enjoy coming to Dr. Adam ASMR. Thanks for hanging out this week. We'll see you back here in the office next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.